Green Line extension appears to be back on track. New project manager John Dalton expects construction to begin in 2018 with the new Somerville and Medford stations opening in 2021. Earlier this month, Dalton met with the community to discuss the redesign, which includes name changes for two stations. The original Lowell Street station now becomes Magoon Square, and the Washington Street station is now going to be called East Somerville. The station designs will also be significantly streamlined to cut costs. In addition, the community path whose completion was linked to the original plans is now to be terminated at McGrath Highway and will not go all the way to the Boston Charles River path. Producer Peter Levine gives us the story. On December 7th, a meeting was held at Somerville High School to discuss the Green Line extension progress and updates with the public. There's clearly an extreme amount of public interest in this project, uh, public support in this project, and if you're, if you're coming into a, a project environment like as I'm doing, that's, that's what you want. Of the many elements examined, the predominant topic was the community path. In the original Green Line extension plans, the community path was to lead to the Charles River path. The new plan leaves a gap of around 3,000 feet between the end of the community path at Washington Street and Leachmere Station. The call on the left, previous design, and the redesigned scope is, is on the right. Um, distance is different, start and finish dimensions are different, width is effectively the same, and street access points have been, have been reduced. Over the course of the night, many residents advocated for the necessity to build the entire path for reasons ranging from safety to positive ecological and communal impacts. So I think the 3,100 feet that are being built are the most important part. The only alternatives when you get off the path there is uh, maybe take Washington Street to Rutherford Avenue. That's not, not very pleasant. Or uh, the McGrath Highway, which is deadly. So right now, the, the cost of the community path, the full community path, would be about 1% of the Green Line project budget but it will produce one-third of the users. The estimated number of uh, users of the Green Line Extension is 9 to 10 million. A study done by the MAPC uh, three or four years ago that about 3 million users uh, per year of the community path. So one-third the users for 1% of the cost. There's no safer bicycle facility than an off-road path. We have the community path uh, you've heard it many times, and I'm not going to be redundant here, but I'm just going to say that this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to get people safely from not only Somerville, not only Medford, but Lexington and Arlington and outlying areas to get them not just to Somerville, not just to Cambridge, but to Boston, major employment centers, major commuting routes. By not extending the community path all the way to North Point, we are missing an incredible opportunity, and I will tell you right now, it's going to cost lives. We're talking about money versus lives, money versus safety. The community path is a two-mile path, and while it runs through Somerville, it's actually a regional project. It's not just a local project. It will. The idea is that it will run for four stations along the future Green Line extension, um, but it will also connect the Minuteman and the Charles River paths. Um, so there's 23 miles of Minuteman, there's 23 miles of the Charles River Path Network. If you plug those three in together, you get 48 miles of continuous path through 11 Boston area cities and towns. There have been many accidents um, where um, cyclists um, and pedestrians have died or have been injured by cars and trucks. Um, it's very, very dense urban neighborhoods. There's not one path that will take you towards Boston through these neighborhoods in a safe way, and the community path will provide that. We believe that if the missing link in the community path extension is not built uh, as part of the Green Line, it may never be built in our lifetimes because um, the, the community path and the Green Line, they share infrastructure, bridges, retaining walls, but also they're going to share heavy machinery. And there's going to be a lot of heavy construction machinery in this area where that missing link is. And it's an area full of 
tracks going different places. And it's going to be very hard to stop those operations again once the Green Line project has ended. The likelihood of building this community path link, this last leg, diminishes uh, in a staggering way uh, after the Green Line is built. Project manager John Dalton, an avid bicyclist, conveyed that completing the path would be strenuous to the Green Line Extension's budget. The community path, like many of the other elements of the Green Line Extension project, would have to be scaled down in order to move forward. I am aware that there is a great interest in this community path. But I think it's important to know that while the community path was affected, it was one of many things that were affected through this process. Dalton has expressed that it is unlikely that the community path will be restored to its original length with the Green Line extension. However, he has agreed to bike the proposed path in January. We've been lucky to have a lot of advocates at these meetings, um, but so far that has not turned the mind of the state. Perhaps we'll get lucky. For Somerville Neighborhood News, I'm Peter Levine. In other Green Line related news, the Board of Aldermen has approved the mayor's request to borrow $50 million for his promised municipal contribution to the project. The Board of Aldermen have expressed that this decision is vital for the Green Line Extension's completion. Mm -hmm.